Hey guys, welcome back to the channel once again, Kenroy here. Now today I am back in the kitchen, but this time I am flying solo because uh, it's my turn to make dinner today. Sophia is still at work, she's upstairs. She can probably hear me down here chatting away. Uh, but today is my turn to make dinner. I'm just about to go and pick Naomi up from school in a little while. I'm a bit pressed for time today because I was actually doing some online training so I didn't have as much time to prepare um, for dinner this evening so I thought I'd make a quick and easy autumn meal. With the cost of living crisis as it is at the moment everyone is trying to see how they can save money and as you've seen in one of my previous videos we try our best to grow some of our own vegetables um, in our garden. Yes you heard me right. So today guys I'll be cooking a pumpkin soup which is a fan favorite within our family. The girls absolutely love it and so do we as well. Um, it is so simple to make that even I can do it. I mean, if I can do it, you definitely can do the same. Now, if you're new to this channel, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We really do appreciate it. And thanks for coming along on the journey. Okay, so I'm home with Abby at the moment. We're we gonna be making some soup. Yeah. What kind of soup are we making? We're making. Go on then. We're making. We're making pumpkin. Pumpkin soup, aren't we? We were pumpkin that we picked from the garden. Yeah, that's why the garden is always the clouds. Okay, mm-hmm, right, a absolutely. <laughs> so like I said guys, the pumpkin soup is so easy to make. Now this is one of the smaller pumpkins that we harvested from our garden a couple weeks ago. And um, yeah, I'm gonna cut it open and see what it's like on the inside. Now, like I said, this was a tiny one. So I'm hoping that it'll be nice um, inside once I've cut it open. And all you need for this recipe, which is pretty straightforward, is obviously you need some pumpkin or some squash. Um, I like to use some chopped carrots, uh, sort of like a large onion, finely diced, along with some garlic and also some stock cubes because, you know, you need that for the flavoring. Garnished with some rosemary. So pretty straightforward and what I normally do I normally use some almond milk or if you can get um, cream so we're we're vegan we're plant-based and so we can't use the normal cream so I often use some almond milk I prefer to use unsweetened one because um, there's just less sugar in there and especially when you're having a savory dish like soup you don't want it to be too sweet anyway so that's all you need. Okay guys, so the first thing that I'm going to do is to get this pumpkin chopped up into smaller pieces. I'm gonna put this on the cooker to cook and get it nice and soft. And then once that's cooking, I'm gonna saute the onions and the garlic and the carrots together before combining them all together after I've drained the water from the pumpkin. And then once that's done, I'll add all of the seasoning, the stock, and then lastly, I'll just blend this all together to get it nice and creamy. Here goes nothing. Oh. Okay, okay, not bad. Considering this is the smallest one of the lot that I've picked so far. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, it's looking good, isn't it? It's, it's looking, it's looking pretty. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. <laughs> you agree? Yeah. Okay, so let's get this chopped up. And see what's inside. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so I find that it's easy to remove the seeds from the pumpkins or the squash just by using a spoon once you've cut it open. And that's exactly what I've been doing. All you have to do is just to use a spoon, requires a bit of strength, and just literally scoop it out. Now, not much of this gets wasted as it all goes back into my compost heap, you know. Oh, so hopefully next year, these very seeds will get dug back into the ground to add lots of rich nutrients for um, new vegetables to grow. So yeah, it's a good good little ecosystem, really. Okay, so now the pumpkins are all de-seeded. Uh, perhaps the hardest thing to do is to actually remove the skin from the outside, which is quite hard. But I've found over the years that getting something like this, which is a potato peeler, um, yeah, it's a potato peeler, you can do other things with it as well, um, works really, really well to get most of this skin off. And all you then have to do is literally start at one end, and just like that, you can start peeling your pumpkin. 
Now you can go as low as you want with this. I can keep going to remove even more of the skin if I want. Now it will take you a couple passes, but normally I go to around that level um, after a few passes of this peeler and then that's okay. I don't mind if a bit of this on the skin is left. Um, I'm sure there's tons of vitamins in there anyway. And trust me, it's a lot safer and a lot easier to peel rather than trying to use a knife. So that's my top tip for the day. A potato peeler can peel more than just potatoes. Now, I don't know how you normally have your soup, but we absolutely love having some bread. Um, preferably freshly baked, but I'm not gonna lie, today we're not baking any fresh bread from scratch. In fact, we've got this bread that we picked up in Asda, which is an extra special um, baguette. It's stone baked. This is one of those ones that you can actually put in the oven to sort of finish um, baking, to add some color. Now, like a lot of people, Sophia and I have seen how best we can actually save money on our everyday shop. Um, you know, we use things such as top cashbacks. We make sure we use all our store loyalty cards. We shop around at different stores. And something that we've started doing recently, and I am not afraid to say this and that's actually buying things from the reduced section in the supermarket you know those yellow label items that you normally see especially at the end of the day and um, we've gone as the close to where we live and Sophia often takes one of our neighbors to the as there in the evenings um, for her to do a shopping and they get some absolutely amazing bargains I mean so the other day I kid you not Sophia actually picked up around 200 pounds worth of shopping for around 15 pounds which is absolutely bonkers when you think of it um, this bread would normally cost around two pounds in asda i think um, don't quote me on that but she actually just picked it up for 10 pence and you know when you think about it instead of buying uh, a bread for two pounds you literally buy it for five percent of what it's actually worth um, it's actually phenomenal Okay, so it's now time for me to saute the vegetables, onions, garlic, and the carrots. Okay, so the pumpkin's been boiling for around seven minutes or so, so I'll give it another couple of minutes to make sure that they're nice and tender. Uh, you should be able to just get a knife and just put straight through and once it goes through without any issues then you know it's all cooked. Now I'm just using some normal stock cubes, you can choose whatever you want. Obviously we're plant based so we're going for a vegetarian slash vegan option and I'm basically using the same water that we use to boil the pumpkins in to mix the stock in order to give it a nice rich flavor. And a lot of those vitamins that's been boiled out into the water will obviously now be mixed into the soup. Now it's time for me to add the stock. And now I'm adding all of the pumpkin which was strained from all the water. like rosemary and using it in soups it's just really really gives it a nice flavor so I'll just give this a nice chop until it's literally um, gonna almost dissolve into the soup that way the kids won't complain when they've got rosemary all up in their soup because you know how kids are but uh, we love the flavor Okay, so I've combined everything together and this soup has been simmering for around five minutes or so and that's all it takes really because everything is cooked. I've just given it a little taste, it's got enough salt in there, I don't want to overdo it. All I'm going to do now is add the milk uh, which is a substitute for the cream which people often use. Give it a nice blend and then it will be done. Now there's no right or wrong to how much milk to add really. It entirely depends on you and how thick and how creamy you would like it. Now you can see it straight away the colour of the soup has actually changed already. So I could add some more if I wanted to but then I don't want it to be too um, liquidy, so too runny. So I'm just going to keep it as it is and all I'm going to do now is just to blend it and then it will be done. So this is our handy um, hand blender which is really really good for stuff like this. 
and it's relatively inexpensive you can often pick these up on facebook marketplace as well um, somebody selling them used so yeah you simply just put it in and whisk away and your soup will be ready okay looking good it's not too thick and it's also not too thin which is really nice gone to work but he made us dinner made some plants we made some garden and all of these nice i'm gonna tuck into mine now bet she wants some <laughs> been a real busy day so do we know what kind of soup it is what type of soup is it yummy pumpkin, pumpkin yeah and yummy it's a yummy soup and full great you're grateful for daddy? I'm grateful for my friends and everything I have. Oh, say bye. Bye. Bye, daddy. <sighs> well, I wasn't going to record me having the soup. <gasps> it tastes so good. I have to go get the camera. This is yummy. Mmm. This is not good soup. <laughs> this is yummy. Right Abby's giving you so. some. Okay, guys, that's it. Dinner's ready. Just like that, I've made pumpkin soup, and you can do the same as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you've got any comments or any other recipes that you'd like to see us try, especially plant-based ones, uh, Safai and I will be trying our best to do a, a few cook with us um, on our channel. So please post them in the comments down below. Let me know if you've also tried this. I mean, it's currently pumpkin season here in the UK, autumn. Um, it's all things pumpkin and squash. So it's a great time for you to give this recipe a try. As always, this is Ken Roy saying, I'll see you when you see me. Take care.